Hello, my beautiful fountain friends. Welcome to Creepy Nibs. I'm the Countess, and I have a pen, I have an ink, and I have a paper. But more important, I have a nib. I have a nib in this pen that is very special, very fascinating that I am even able to own it. Um, so thank you to the mysterious individual who dropped it in my lap. Um, gently, of course. We wouldn't want any misaligned tines. Um, so yeah, cool. Um, oh, ew, gross. My, I shed like a border collie. Um, so ink, ink we're using. Robert Oster Oster Toaster Foster Blood Moon. Oh, oh, I asked them once how you say it. And they're like, oh, it you say it like the O in orange. But some people say orange. And also they're Australian. Do I take accents into account? I don't. <laughs> I was more confused than, uh, than I started. Um, so before we get like into it, because we're gonna, mm, we are gonna be into it. Um, here's chromatography comparisons between Blood Moon over here and Diamond Rider's Blood over here. And you know, you would think, you would think that I would like Rider's Blood better because it's like a gray, but that's, that's a cool red. I'm not into cool reds, I'm into warm reds. So that's why I like Blood Moon better. It's like purpley, kind of you. So that's cool. That's cool. I'll probably do the Blood Moon review next because I'm super hyped about it. And it's really pretty and it's fresh. It's new and people want to know about it. I will provide. So this pen from Chesapeake Pen Co. Um, the maker got injured somehow and it, like turning a lathe is very hard for um, him. Um, so I don't know if you'll ever be able to get a Chesapeake pen again. Hopefully he makes a full recovery and gets back to turning a lathe post haste. Um, but yeah, that's this pen. This was a gift from the wonderful ink splat, Amanda B. She has one as well. These are, were our twin pens, but now they have different nibs. Um, but like, it's so pretty. Look at this. Look at all those colors, that opalescent, iridescent beautimousness. Look at all. This is my favorite part. Yes. Yes. Also, um, I love how this, this black part looks like, um, half of an oyster shell. Like, that's so cool. That's so cool that that is how that turned out. So. This. My dearly beloveds and departeds. Is a Franklin Kristoff 14 carrot gold flex sig fine by jim rouse who was unfortunately no longer with us um it was apparently a very dear soul to everyone who was ever involved with him at any moment any time whatsoever so um we will mourn him and celebrate his the joys that he brings to fountain pen people all over um with this incredible grind which I'm very excited. This is like Grail Nib Day. Um, I have not touched it to paper yet. I want to do all that on camera because you like it when I gush about things. <laughs> um, and I like it when I gush about things. So um, I have already decanted some of Blood Moon into this vial. Set that there. Ink it up. I'm going to write. I even like thought about what I wanted do for like the first letter. It's going to be a capital W because that is my favorite letter in cursive to write. Um, that's it. Okay, can we, can we see it? I want, I want them to see it. All right. Dipping, dipping, converting. I didn't put it in deep enough. Let's go. Oh yeah, let's go. I'm so excited. Let's cap that before we have a problem. Are we gonna have a problem? No, no one. Cool. All right. Wipe off the suction. Look at that. Look at that creepy nib. Oh, oh, 
Oh god. All right. Oh my god. Here we go, folks. The only other modern flex nib I've tried was a fountain pen revolution one, and I wasn't super into it, to be completely honest. Um, and I don't want to push this one too hard, but we're gonna see what happens. Okay. We ready? I'm ready. I think I'm ready. Oh no, are we ready? I don't know if I'm ready. <laughs> okay. 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 Ooh. Oh, that feels so nice. That was that was me part. I'm too like ah, I'm a little shaky. Oh my god, that is probably like the best writing experience I have had in so long. Um, but also so is this, this, this medium. That was also really good. I think they're like, they're like competing. They're like both really good. Oh my god. Oh, sweet Lord in heaven, I am blessed. This, mm, oh, this is perfect. Oh, this is perfect. This is so perfect. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm going to scream, but I won't because that will um, hurt people. I don't want to hurt people. It's so bouncy. And so wet. Oh god. Okay. 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 <clears throat> Um, how do I order this name? Fourteen carat. Number six. Curse of love. See what I did there? See what I did there? I like that. This is so good. <laughs> this is this is so good. This is uh, if you could see my face right now. Um, first you'd be like, ew. Um, <laughs> you'd be like, oh, that person looks absolutely jovial. I have entered the gates of heaven. Here we are. So that's no pressure. It's a little bit of pressure. That's as much pressure as I'm willing to go. But look at that put down so much ink, even the no pressure. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my god. It's perfect. This nib is perfect. I don't know how anybody could let this go. <laughs> Like, really? And it, to me, of all people, I swear to God. Uh. 
If you want to sell it, I can give you the certificate of authenticity. Are you insane? I still can't get over that. I'm like, what? What? Do you have any idea? Of course you do. But you have every idea. Everybody watching this has every idea. Like, you get me. We understand. <laughs> See, my hands are a little shaky, so my flex writing is not up to par. But, like, oh my god. Also, this ink is incredible. Like, hello. Hell yes. I'm trying to make them connect. <laughs> it's not. Oh, and that sound on this paper. Oh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Marriage. This is an absolute marriage of pen, ink, and paper. Oh, that's. Mm -hmm. And this pen is so comfy. It's. Mm -hmm. It's. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna scream. Mm -hmm. Let's color these in. I just don't want to stop doing things with this nib. Oh, oh it's perfect. This is perfect. This is absolutely perfect. Perfectly tuned, perfectly ground. Oh, mmm. Oh, it hurt to do that. It hurt to cap that pen. I just want to keep going forever and ever and ever. Um, oh, oh, we could do a little comparison while we're here. Okay. Hold it up higher. You get a little bit thinner line. We have a fine sig. I also have a Franklin Kristoff Curse of Metallic Medium. This was by like Masuyama. Um, that was this whole the whole setup was another wonderful gift from Manda. Uh, I'm just gonna take this. I kind of want to get another one of those Kaveco converters to put in here. Maybe that'll work. Um, I know the converter sucks, but uh, I would rather have. A crap converter than eyedropper. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not as wet. Oh my god, going from this to this, like, you can really feel what it's into a nib feels like. Not that there's anything wrong with that, of course, but it's just, there's definitely a difference. Um, firmer, not as wet. Um, hmm. Ooh! Little Pilot Calligraphy Medium Nib. I love this thing. Ooh, what am I doing? Is that good enough? I'm gonna get ink all over me. Not that there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> Oh, what is wrong with you? Oh, now it's fine, of course. Mm, I love this thing. <coughs> um, do I have? I love Twisby 1.1. You do that. I finally got the nib on this go to work. I just had to push it so hard on a flat surface and not be afraid of springing it. Um, so maybe I did spring it and that's made it right. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't. Hold on. Get in there. Give me that ink. Give me that fillet of fish. Give me that fish. 
I had, nope, I was wrong. <laughs> I got it to write a little bit um, at some point a few days ago. Oh, oh, of course, when I do the little sample, when I do the little sample, it's like, no. Nope. And then I write the little sample for it. And, oh my god, I hope you can't hear my digestive system just absolutely losing its mind. <laughs> um, is there anything else? I want, I want this again. I want this again. I want this again. <gasps> this? Oh my god. <laughs> like, I wish I was exaggerating um, about how delightful this makes me. But I'm not. This... <laughs> uh... I'm not even on drugs right now, but I feel like I should be. So that's what a Curse of Italic looks like versus a Sig. Not as much lion variation, but it's... Oh, you still get some. It's really good. It's... Mm. <laughs> Oh my gourd, this is the best thing ever. Oh, oh look at that subtle shading on that ink. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nothing else compares. It's just not possible. It just doesn't it doesn't happen. It doesn't compare. Um is there anything else I can talk about? I don't think so. I think that's it for today. Uh, I'll have a currently inked coming up soon. I have my list created for like a favorite inks of all time video. Um, in which I'm only doing bottles. I'm not including samples because that'd be a completely different story. Um, not really. I mean, all my favorites I have in bottles because I bought the bottles because they're my favorite, you know? Um, so that's cool. Um, I'm gonna look at this nib again. Can we do that? Can we? Yeah, yeah, look at that. Oh my God. Can we get like a close up of the tip? Look at that. Look at that. Absolute, utter perfection. Is that like that? Yes, hell yes. Anyway, thank you, Mysterious Penefactor, for this incredible experience. I don't think I would have ever been able to have it otherwise. Um, ooh, too zoom, too zoom. Um, and thank you everyone else for watching. That was fun. I hope you had fun. This was fun. I love you. Punch Nazis. Goodbye.